today is DIY Fast Do It Yourself Festival and uh, basically it's just a bunch of workshops that really promote uh, doing things yourself and you know getting like help from your friends and the community around you as well. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, a range from like mosaics and like clay to like you know breaking or baking bread and making soup and then also uh, more workshops like the do-it-yourself media and uh, white white privilege workshops and racism. The idea of this event was to bring people together to give workshops on various skills and topics to promote community empowerment, uh, encourage self-sustainability, and uh, you know, give people the skills necessary to survive under a failing economy. You know, we are taking the tile pieces. Uh, we are taking the each piece of little tiny broken up tile and putting this stuff on it. It's like sticky white stuff, and it's kind of a good name, but I forgot what it is. <laughs> it's called Mastic. Mastic. <laughs> we we we. Hit the biggest economic collapse since the Great Depression, and you know people are hurting, and they need they need skills that can enable them to to thrive in a period of economic downturn. You know, you know. This event, in and of itself, no, this is a drop in the bucket. However, however, if this model was to be replicated in other places, and people were you know, if we manage to set up these big, you know, community free education kind of things where people could learn these skills, it could be very useful and it could be very empowering to a lot of people. We did a sourdough starter and we also did a basic bread that wouldn't use a starter. This is called graham flour um, and you can see the little of brown in there. Luke talked a lot about the science of bread and uh, all the different factors and variables that go into creating a bread that will have a good crumb, which is the inside, and so like the density, whether or not you want it to be bubbly and have air holes like a French bread or really dense for a sandwich bread, and then the crust outside of the bread. I helped teach a knitting workshop earlier today, and we had three people come in. Uh, one person had done a little bit of knitting before, and the other two hadn't done any. This event is also a great community builder. It, it helps SDS reach out into the community, and the community can reach back and help us. It creates a relationship for further actions. Because you're all learning together, and that's the that this experience is. Well, I would love to see another DIY fest, for sure. And uh, there was a, a larger time gap between the last one and this one, and I would like to see it like on a yearly basis. Mm -hmm. And I think the fall is the perfect time to do that. Mm -hmm. The best things come from the heart, from the community. Wow.